Hi, this is Joe Mitchell from ActivateYourGreatness.com, and I am really happy to be with you tonight. I haven't done a Facebook Live in a long, long time, and I felt like it's time to start to relate from the heart to my, my peoples. So uh, I'm just doing this on my personal page, and I thought that I would just say uh, that I am happy to talk about this subject tonight because this is a great subject. It's about self-confidence and how to be more confident, how to, how to strengthen your confidence. We're all, we all have confidence, so how can we strengthen it? So let's, let's dive in, okay? This is, you know, I like to keep it short, so we're only going to be here for five, five, ten minutes at the most, not even that. And this comes from a presentation that I put together for 25 ways to strengthen your self-confidence. But what I'm what I'm only doing here is I'm only going to do five, okay? Because I, I don't want to burden you with stuff. I'm just going to do five of them, and let's see if we can learn something, grow from grow from this, and take something away. I always want you to take something away from any time I'm doing something. What can you use? So ask yourself as we're doing this, what can you use uh, of this presentation? Because uh, I want you to get something. I want you to to use it. I want you to put it into practice. Thanks. Okay, so here we go. Number one. Think positive thoughts, okay? So what you want to do is really challenge yourself to think more positive. You know, so if you stay positive, then you are going to be naturally more and more confident, okay? So, you know, it, it, it's very easy to let the things of the day kind of get you down or kind of get you thinking like negative, and this is especially true for me today, is that I just was feeling like, oh, I've got to deal with this person who is just, you know, not keeping their word to me again and again and again, and I've got all of these things that I've got to do that are not related to my mission, and so what I did was I turned it around and I started to think, everything that happens is for me, is for me. Okay, so what can I learn from each and every one of these situations? And I started to look at it, look at it in that way. I started to ask myself questions about how can I benefit from this? How can I be more at peace? How can I be more loving? And it started to really shift the, the nature of the day, made it really a cool day, really a cool day. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go to number two. Okay, so the first one is to think positive thoughts. And then the second one is, is the opposite of this, which is stop negative thoughts, okay? So it's, it's natural. Now, you've got to understand it's natural to have negative thoughts, okay? <clears throat> when things happen, um, you don't get up on time and then you're late, or somebody else promises you something and doesn't come through, or something happens that is truly a disappointment to you someone in your in your circle uh, has has a problem there's all kinds of things that of course will cause negative thoughts and there's nothing wrong with negative thoughts it's just a matter of stop <laughs> okay um Hal Elrod, I was reading a great book called The Miracle Equation. It's a new book that he just came out with recently. And he says, give yourself five seconds, okay? Give yourself five seconds to feel that emotion. And then, what can I do to change it? Take a deep breath. What can I do to change it? I personally love to tap. So I really recommend, if, if, if you're so inclined, to tap a little bit, okay? Do, so do a little tapping. And I think you'll really find it, it's very cool. And I want to thank uh, Jeff Gompers and Sue Zook. Yay, Katarina. All right, it's really great to have you guys here. And uh, let's go on to number seven. Well, actually, it's number three. It's number seven in the, in the larger list of 25. But prepare yourself, OK? So figure out how you can. Get prepared for whatever challenges are facing you. It's really good to, I like to really take some time out and just think about what can I, like what challenges are likely to happen and what could I do about them if they happen? What could, you know, what, uh, one, of, one of Brendan Burchard, who is, who is one of my mentors, says in his, uh, his high performance planner is what could go wrong today and what could you do to prevent it? 
So that's preparing yourself for challenges. And that's a really great thing. You know, get prepared. So, number four, or actually, yeah, it's number four, right? And that is focus on the smaller things, okay? And this is a great one. Break it down, okay? And I love, this is, this is, one, of the, this is one of my favorite little devices here. It's called a time timer. Okay, and it's got this little red thing when you when you when you push it forward like this, it shows you how much time is left. I usually I like to set it like today I've been setting a lot for five minutes. And I set it for five minutes and then I don't know if you've ever if you ever this is a great little device to have on your desk. Okay. You set it for five minutes and at the end of five minutes it rings. Okay. So if you just say, okay, I'm gonna call people for five or I'm gonna write. For five minutes. That's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write for five minutes. Even though you might have a lot to write, but you set that five-minute timer and you do it, and you've you've got some momentum. Okay. So you want to you know you start small, on the, especially uh, if you have a lot of projects or you have some projects that have been sitting around for a while. You've been procrastinating a little bit. That's where you want to go. Okay. Is take it small. Like what could you what could you use what could you, how could you use this how could you take something small that you've been putting off just to do five minutes with it just take a five minute challenge so cool so cool okay and then the last one that we're gonna do right now which is which is great is express gratitude okay what can you be thankful for it is such a powerful 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 tool gratitude thank you thank you thank you and if you do that even if you don't necessarily feel it I mean sometimes if you just put your hands up like this and you look up and you say thank you that can change your state right there I can change your state also look for what is working in your life look for the good look for look, even the little small things look for little things that are that are, are working gratitude okay so I've given you a number of, of ideas here positive thinking stopping the negative thinking preparing and starting small and being grateful a lot of great stuff okay so I just really thank you so much for being on cousin Lily love you uh, and you know take this to, you know take just a little something that that's, that's from this and go for it in your life you know, I, I am such a, a big fan of constant improvement, constantly looking how to improve. So I thank you for being here. Um, I will be uh, doing these things on a regular. Please sign up for my mailing list uh, if you can. Uh, and uh, it's at activateyourgreatness.com. And I have a little gift there that, that you can get to. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks, thanks, thanks for being here. And I will talk to you the next time. Bye. Hi, Elton. Bye.